what's up capricorn and welcome to my channel i hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome capricorns out there are doing well so we're gonna go on and get into this spirit capricorn and see what it is that spirit wants you to know so we have no one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met and how many experiences I've had, there is no one that compares to you. So someone here is reflecting and they're thinking about, you know, all these different people that they've met, all these other men and women that they've encountered, have sex with, but when, you know, when they compare them to you, like there's no comparison here. This is someone who also wants you to let go of the past. So whatever happened between you and this person, they really want you to let go of the past. They don't want you to think about what they did to you in the past. This is somebody who wants you to look at them like with a fresh pair of lens or a new set of eyes, okay? Because this person feels like what happened between you and the past is the main thing that's holding back your future. Now, Capricorn, you can feel like this person hurt you, okay? This could have been someone who cheated on you, they lied to you, they deceived you in some type of way. Whatever this person did, they hurt you. And it's like you still need more time to heal. What this means is that you're not ready to hear what this person has to say. You ain't ready to accept no apologies. You're not ready to give this person a second chance here. Now, someone here, this person feels sorry for the pain that they caused you, okay? This is someone who realized that they caused you a lot of hurt and pain because they realize you didn't deserve this shit. You deserve so much more. And for that, this person needs you to let them go. They realize that you deserve good things in the world. And right now they feel like they're not in the space to give you that type of connection that you deserve. You know what I'm saying? You want love, you want this and you want that. And at that time, this could be someone who feels like they just can't give that to you. So this could have been how this person felt about you in the past. And maybe this is how this person it's feeling now like someone here just feels like they can't give you the love the attention you know the type of connection that you're looking for then we also have gaslighting i have been lying to you and gaslighting you you weren't crazy you were right i just wasn't strong enough to admit it so someone here made you feel like you were wrong you know what i'm saying you were delusional you could accuse this person of cheating or doing this or doing that and you weren't being delusional this person was gaslighting you because they were too chicken and they weren't man enough a woman enough to tell you the truth, okay? Tell you the truth about they were dealing with a love triangle. They put you in some type of love triangle, okay? Which means there was a third party that interrupted or interfered in this connection. This could have been also someone who had a choice. They could have had a choice to be with you or they could have had a choice to stay or be with a third party. And this is someone who chose to include you in a love triangle, okay? Versus making a choice on choosing you or this person. This is someone who just chose to have, have that cake and eat it too. Now, this person could be reflecting on how they put you in this third party situation because they know good damn well, Capricorn, you did not deserve that here. This could have been someone who you felt like was ignoring you, or maybe this person feels like you're ignoring them. They've been calling you, texting you, you know, trying to reach out, and you ain't, you ain't studying them. You ain't, you ain't trying to hear this person's apology. You don't want to hear nothing that this person has to say because you realize how strategic this person was being, okay? This is someone who, when they were lying, when they were doing this, like, they were very strategic. It was like playing a game of chess, and they had everybody in their little pieces or in their places, okay? Because we have multiple lovers. So this could have been someone who was dealing with multiple people, multiple people, but they were being very strategic about you know, I'm going to see this person on Tuesday. I'm going to see this person on Wednesday. I'm going to holler at her this night. I'm going to holler at him. Like, this is someone who was being very strategic with all the love people, all their love triangles they had going on in their life, okay? Now, for some of you, there could be someone who's dealing with some legal issues. This could be you, Capricorn. Maybe you're having to go to court. This could be anything from, like, a traffic ticket to jury duty. You're having to see a judge. Or maybe you're having to get a lawyer about something here then we have happiness hater okay so i feel like for some of you there's a connection that you can be in now but the problem is like this is someone okay where's they part in 
Okay, so some of you guys, you could be in a connection now, Capricorn, okay? And this person's ex or either your ex, like somebody on the outside of this connection is trying to keep you and this person from being happy. So what this means, so this can be someone that's sending you energy. This could be someone that's sending your person negative energy, okay? This could be someone that, that does not want to see you or this person happy together. Like I said, this could be your ex. This could be this person's ex, okay? Regardless of the situation, there is somebody that's trying to block this happy connection, okay? This could be someone you're trying to connect with now. Or this could have been something that happened in the past, okay? There could have been like a third party or something that was trying to keep you and this person from being happy, all right? So I clarified this love triangle, okay? I want to get a little bit more clarification on this love triangle, okay? So for some of you, this person could have been very moody, like, you know, one time they was happy to see you, the next time they wasn't. You know, they always disappointed you, left you heartbroken. They made you very jealous, so this person could have been very jealous of you, but... Whatever this person was doing, it made you not trust them. You can rely on this person. And they were very unpredictable. You know, this person tell you they're going to do something in Capricorn. They wouldn't fall through with those plans. You and this person made plans, and they seen, you know, they counsel on you because they got to go see man number two or, or lady number three for the night. You know what I'm saying? They've already, they, they, got, they got everybody strategically placed, but, you know, sometimes shit happens. And this person would have to counsel with you because they got to go see one of the other side pieces. This could be someone that was operating in their shadow self, okay? This is a Capricorn. Some of you could have been dealing with another Capricorn here. Or this is someone who was just operating in a lower, very, very low vibration, okay? Operating out of their shadow. They had a lot of attachments to them, okay? So they could have had a lot of people that were bound to them. They could have had a lot of addictions or a lot of people who was tempting them. And they were very materialistic, very toxic. So this is someone who also like attracts lower vibrational people because they're so low vibrational. They also attract other lower vibrational people. Now, this could be someone who I feel like you were trying to collaborate or now this person could be trying to collaborate with you. Or I feel like you had to walk away from this person. It's like now you're learning new skills. Now you're learning about your spiritual gifts here. Something that's going to make you very secure, financially secure, and you're making goals for yourself. And you're going to receive long-term awards. So I feel like this is the energy of what was going on, but this is what you're doing. Like, this is the only energy I picked up from you, Capricorn. You could be ignoring this person as well. I feel like there's a lot of inner turmoil. Like someone on the inside just knows that something isn't right. And this could be lose, having someone losing sleep or this inner turmoil from these secrets because somebody has been keeping a lot of secrets. And it's like deep down inside, they know they got to release those secrets. They know they got to speak their truth. And they have they have to release this worry. They got to release this stress. But they just hope when they reach out, you guys, that you're going to pick up the phone. But I feel like Capricorn, you and this energy of where you're ignoring this person. This is why this ignoring card is here. Some of you guys, you have been ignoring this person. They've already reached out. Or they're going to be trying to reach out to you real soon. Either way it go, you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to be bothered with them. And possibly you will be ignoring their call. You know what I'm saying? So let's see who this reading is about for my Capricorn. I love you, Capricorn. If anything resonated for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, so we had we had Pisces. Hold on, Knight of Cups. This um yeah, Pisces. We got Gemini, Cap and heavy Capricorn energy. All right, so we got Sash, Virgo, Gemini. All right, we got Leo, Heavy Aries, and Taurus. And we also have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Pisces here, okay? All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.